Okay, welcome in this video. In this video, we're going to talk about scammers, specifically Indian scammers. The thing is, I'm not trying to tell you how they works. I'm not telling you what's going to work and what doesn't work for your company. But I'm going to tell you some things that you need to keep in mind when you hire some people, if it's on Fiverr, if it's on Upwork. Because if you understand how they work, you also see why they are scamming you. So what I'm talking about, sometimes when you need someone to do something for you, you can go on Fiverr or Upworks and there you can find a freelancer that does it for you. The problem is some people, they have money and they want to hire a professional to do their work. I can understand that. And the thing is, most people don't realize that what people, they call themselves professional while they are not professional. Let me explain this. Let's say you need a website and you need someone to create a website for you. You don't have any knowledge about that. And you will hire a professional. They want to create a website. They will tell you, hey, you will make this course because I need to do some extra work. But behind the screen, they don't do any extra work. They just copy something what they did in the past and put it on your website. And maybe you get in problem for that. The thing is, it's not fair. And I understand that sometimes you will sell your knowledge and your experience. That's why people need to pay you for it. But sometimes people will go too far. Let me give you an example. Let's say you order a website. Someone say, hey, I will create a good website for you. It's uh, responsive and all those things. But the person, what, are, what, what is he doing? He's going to buy a template. Use the template to create a website for you. I can understand he put some hours into it. But let's say someone don't put hours into it, just buy the template, sell you the template, and then one, two hours, and they charge you for six hours. Is that fair? I don't think so. And let's say a lot of apps, a lot of software is trying to make it really difficult, um, easy for you to create it by yourself. So you can do it by yourself. If you don't have the time, you can hire someone to do it for you. Or if you don't have knowledge, you can learn by yourself or hire someone to do it for you. But now we're going to come to the part scammers. Sometimes we have some Indian scammers and they go too far. Really, they go too far. They charge you a lot for something that's not really worth it. Let's say someone asks you $1,500 for a website and they deliver a crappy website that you can get that even a high schooler can create for 200 for you. Is that fair? And they call themselves professional while they go to a certain kind of website, download a template and give it to you. Is that fair? I don't think so. So what I'm trying to say is you have a lot of these scammers when you go on Upworks or Fiverr. They have a lot of reviews, but those reviews are not real. I already talked with Fiverr about it. I, uh, I file a complaint about this. And how does the review work? They just hire someone that they know and let the person buy reviews. So they will say, hey, my friend and family, I will give you $5. You write a review on Fiverr for me. And that's why you see they have good reviews. The problem with that is it's not fair. How can you check if I'm saying it's correct? Just type in Facebook. You have a Fiverr Facebook group you will see that people will sell reviews there. And I do not know how Fiverr will tackle this. Upwork, I, sometimes you will see it, but is it worth it? Because you expect to hire a professional while the scammers is scamming the platform and they are trying to scam you also. How can you stop this? That's what you're asking, yeah? Use your mind. Think about, think about it first before you hire someone. Let's say you want to create a website. Think about, okay, how much you're going to spend for it. Is it worth hiring someone for a cheap price? Is it worth hiring someone close to my home? Maybe they will do it better for a higher price. Because the people in India or other people that, buy, that sell it for a cheap price, maybe they're not creating yourself. And maybe you can get in trouble with IP intellectual property. I talk about this in, on my channel. You can look at a lot of videos where they explain how intellectual property work. And intellectual property in a nutshell, 
if they use templates from someone else, you don't have right on their website. So I'm going to say it again. If they use a template of someone else, you don't have intellectual property of those things on the website. You maybe have intellectual property on this picture. You maybe have intellectual property of the content, but other things? No, 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 no. I don't think so. So how can you prevent this? Make sure you hire the right someone, right person. If you do not know how, just contact them. Let them show you the portfolio. Most times they have fake portfolio, but there are some way how you can check if they created the website with a template or not. Maybe in the future, we'll make a video about that. If you want me to sh show you exactly how you can check if a website that they made in the portfolio is made of a template, or if it's a fake website or other things, feel free to let me know in a comment and I will see what I can do for you. Okay, I hope you guys like this information. Use it, use it to help yourself or share it with your friends and other family members that want to start a business, create a website. Don't waste money on uh, things that are necessary. Information, you have it online. You don't have to buy it if it's for free. And let me tell you one thing. For you, $50 or $100 doesn't seem that much or $1,500 doesn't seem that much. For them, it's a lot of money. Because in India, the dollar is a lot worth more. And if they just scam one person, they have enough money to um, for a whole amount or so. So think about those things. So I hope you like this video. If you're new to this channel, subscribe. Seriously, subscribe. Thanks. I will see you in the next video.